An artistic creation is, it's a singular thing. Singular, meaning no one else can own it, says Ivar Zeli, owner of Plus Gallery downtown. That's why the value of this Clifford still painting is estimated between 30 and 40 million dollars. The 10 by 13 foot piece titled 1957 J Number 2 is just one of 2,400 works of art inside the Clifford Still Museum downtown, which opened in November. For some reason, 36 year old Carmen Tisch was drawn to the painting last Thursday, but not in the artistic sense of the word. Instead, police say Tisch began scratching the painting and pounding it with her fists. Then police say she leaned against it, pulled her pants down, and began urinating next to the painting. It comes across as pretty inconceivable that somebody would do that in the context of a museum. Tish was arrested and charged with criminal mischief. Museum officials aren't talking about the incident or describing the damage to the painting. They're only saying they're cooperating with police. The cost to repair the damage, they tell police, will be around $10,000. It's more of an embarrassment because... They've only been in uh, place for two months, less than two months. Still is considered one of the top abstract painters of the 20th century. After passing away 30 years ago, his wife started looking for a city willing to build a museum for his works. In 2004, Still's wife picked Denver after a lobbying effort by then Mayor John Hickenlooper. They have an energy to them. Zaley says the museum will likely have to increase security. Something is ridiculous as a woman coming in who's probably unknown to anybody, being able to even touch the piece is kind of a slap in the face to the authority of the museum.